Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, just bought a few more goodies here from uh, ML Train. I just wanted to show you. Um, I really like ML Train. I've been on their website quite a few times. As I said before, it's all in German, but you can a modern web browser will actually uh, translate it for you automatically. Up in the address bar, there's an option to do that. Uh, it is on my Mac, and anyway, I'm not too sure. I'm sure it is available on PC, but it certainly works on my Mac. Um, and the reason I went back to them originally was um, <clears throat> I had great service when I bought that analog controller and power supply some time ago. Um, but as you know, I've now got a digital MTS system. And I've got one locomotive, the first one I bought, which is analog, and I want to convert it to digital. So what drew me back to them is this little decoder. And it really is tiny. I couldn't believe how small it is. I mean, that's my finger next to it. It comes with a cable. So it's a lot smaller than I expected. Very, very good, uh, very, very good design, actually. And it's got some functions on it as well as uh, taking the power from the track and converting it and sending it back to the motor. So that'll have to do that on my, uh, my Steins, Steins locomotive. So I'm also talking about ML, uh, ML train. Um, they sent me a, a little catalog here. Again, all in German, but it's easy to translate if you photograph it and translate the text with Google Translate, for example. Now, when I was looking to go digital, or when I was thinking about buying this digital system, uh, I did look at this one, because I didn't want to spend a thousand pounds or euros or dollars on a system, so I looked at this, and this is pretty cool. Let me just, I've got a bigger picture of it here. So, for 409 euros, you get the Z21 wireless mouse, which is a controller, uh, power supply, uh, you get a Wi-Fi adapter, which bolts into the central controller, uh, yeah, it's a good system, and a little power adapter. Oops, a little power adapter there as well. Um, I think, and it's eight amp as well, so it's a, it's, a, it's a decent size. You know, you can run a lot of trains with that, and you can expand on it. So, if you're thinking of going digital, check these guys out. I don't know who sells their stuff in, say, the UK or the United States, but I'm sure there'll be someone out there. Uh, and they do a bunch of other stuff, loads of other accessories. Um, you know. For coupling and uncoupling, you can control it digitally. Uh, if you want to stay analog, they've got a wireless system for that as well. If you want to go wireless analog. Um, yeah, very, very good. Very interesting interesting company. I like what they do. Here's the bigger system. That's 30 amp, I think, which is huge. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, they even do like a, you can hold a little display board on your train that tells it what the next station is sort of thing. So, but anyway. So yeah, so I got the uh, decoder. I bought uh, an interior lighting kit for my passenger wagons. I've only got three of those. So I bought doublers, because I, I might have another passenger uh, coach one day, or I might just want double lights inside the coach. Um, I bought some spare lenses, because my little the small bike locomotive, what they call the Klein Dickey, there's uh, some lenses missing on that, and these are a direct replacement. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I also bought some direct replacement lenses for the Steins because they're missing as well. So that's good. Um, continuing on with the lighting kit, there's also a, a connection kit. So what you do is you get the power to the, uh, the lights via this axle. And you can see it's got some power pickups on there. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to take it out the back because I'll lose the connectors. So yeah, so it takes the power from that runs it through the cables uh, up to the lights and then you daisy chain the lights together across the locomotives and you can, can actually connect the look where's it oh, okay. you can actually connect the passenger wagons together electrically. Alright? It's all explained on the website and they've got they've got a YouTube channel as well. Really really worthwhile visit. Um, and the other thing I bought is something they <laughs> they call it a maxi puffer and it's not it's basically it's some capacitors which store the energy so if your wheels run across a dead spot, your lights don't flicker. So, and that's actually parallel by the looks of it. So if you wanted to, you could, I suppose if you're a bit adventurous, you could separate them and use them individually. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it like that. And I've got space in the car for that. Bought some other, some backup LED lights. I just wanted to have them just to try them because they were a great price. And I bought a, an end of train device, uh, a rear, red light, European spec, and actually it's got the same plug in it, so once you wire this up, you can then plug it into this light system directly. 
So it just, the whole thing just daisy chains together, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's the T connection, which allows you to connect the power from the axle to that. And then this maxi puffer plugs in. A, you can't see it, but the other side of that is a, is a connector. You just plug it in. Very, very simple. And then because I'm, obviously all my passenger coaches have plastic wheels, and I'm going to have one metal wheel with a spoke on it, it's going to look a bit strange. So I went and got some, again, bought from the same guys, I bought some uh, spoked metal wheels. So we'll see how that works. They're not quite the same, actually. If you look at the spokes on that, they're smaller than the spokes on that one. But, you know, it's fine. They'll be hidden behind... Uh, hidden behind bits of plastic on the coach, so you probably won't see it. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I'm going home in a couple of weeks, and then I'll be home for three weeks, so I hope to do some more work on the layout then. Um, starting to thinking about landscaping then, or you know, putting the scenery on. And of course, I'll have some electrical work to do as well. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.